The First Lady of Singapore ignited controversy with a Facebook post criticizing Taiwan's handling of surgical masks. Taiwanese observers were offended when she opened a less than friendly post in response to a donation of masks from Taiwan with the word, uh. Her ambivalence is believed to stem from Taiwan's early ban on mask exports that hampered the work of a Singaporean mask producer, Singaporea, Singapore Engineering. However, the First Lady has now backtracked from her initial comments. Both nations seemed keen to downplay the conflict and continue working together against COVID-19. Singapore's First Lady Ho Ching has changed her controversial Facebook post. To all our friends in Taiwan, it now reads, A huge thank you to all you have done, and please know that I'm forever grateful. We all know we're in this together as one world, and I'm totally grateful for everyone which has reached out, advised, pointed the way, and tried their best to help. But she signed off with a small poke in Singlish slang, writing, And mistakes, also forgiven la. Well, I think this can finish here, La. I admit that in January, when we banned all mask exports, there were two Singaporean mask production lines here that had to stop producing, and of course that brought difficulty to Singapore. But we let them move back to Singapore as soon as possible. Health Minister Chen Shizhong spoke publicly about the context of Ho's post. January's mask export ban was accompanied by government urging suppliers to prioritize Taiwanese producers. Singapore Engineering decided to relocate its production to Singapore amid fears it could run out of material. More than a month later, the foreign ministry announced mask donations totaling one million pieces for seven countries in South and Southeast Asia, including Singapore. That announcement seems to have hit a sour note for Singapore's first lady. Singapore clearly feels there has been deterioration in its relationship with Taiwan since the mass production had to pause on January 24th. Of course, Singapore is on high alert now. They had 10 cases of COVID-19 back then. Now they have 2,532, and that number's increased rapidly in recent days. If they are willing and want to, I hope we can both help each other out with masks. Chen had tried to hold out an olive branch. The foreign ministry has also reaffirmed its high regard for its friendship with Singapore. Taiwan and Singapore's relationship began in Chiang Kai-shek's era. There are Singaporean troops who actually train in Taiwan, known as the Starlight Brigade. Singapore's former Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew wanted to bring the two countries closer together. He thought there was no need for antagonism and that one day they would be friends. The relationship is certainly significant. Since 1975, troops from each side have trained in the other's territory. In Taiwan's new southbound policy, Singapore is also a key ally. The U.S. has always pursued alliances along the first island chain. That includes Singapore's Changi Naval Base, Japan's Yokosuka, Guam, and even Taiwan. So Singapore is both militarily and politically close to the U.S. But economically, it wants to maintain a good relationship with China. Despite its size, Singapore is an important friend for the U.S., China, and Taiwan. That explains why Ho, as well as Taiwanese ministers, are keen to smooth over the spat as swiftly as possible.